I know I've done a video about Ngozi Fulani, but the more you look into her, the more murky details come to the surface. And there's far more to her than an African dress. Now, as you all know by now, the royal family have ditched Lady Susan Hussey. And I think this is extremely shameful and really cowardly of, apparently it was King Charles and Prince William who resigned her. However, she has been invited back to the palace to speak with King Charles and William to address what happened. Of course, we all know what happened. The transcript of the whole conversation is online. She merely asked Ngozi Fulani where she was from and the rest is dirty history. Now, there are shady people around at the moment trying really hard to bring the royal family down with accusations of institutionalised racism. Well, I think that's bollocks, because I guarantee you no member of the royal family are stupid enough to say or do anything racist. Even if they are closet racists, who knows? But they're not stupid. But to literally drop one of their own, Lady Susan Hussey, a woman who did that job for 60 years, for no pay. She did it for free. She was a lady in waiting and a companion and confidant of Her Late Majesty the Queen and she did that job flawlessly. Uh, pure service to the country. And this is how she's treated. Dropped like a sack of shit. And this is how she's treated. Well, you know what this tells me, folks, and it should tell you as well, that the royal family aren't institutionally racist. The royal family are institutionally woke and they'll get even woker now after this. Because I guarantee you, their PR firm, they have been working day and night, burning candles on both ends, making sure that nobody anywhere who works in any uh, royal palace, royal mansion, or anything to do with the royal family, if you're employed by them, if you work for them, there are certain things you do not say. And now I bet you, good money, where are you from, is banned. Regardless of the race, regardless of the context, you won't hear those words from the lips of the royal family and their staff from now on. So, you know, woke nonsense is like a cancer. It's seeped into the royal family. It's got them and it's gone in deep. It's spreading everywhere. King Charles' coronation next year, he will say that he's the defender of all faiths. When nearly every king and queen since Henry VIII have said and declared that they are defender of the faith. So this is massive appeasement. This is being completely cowardly and spineless. I mean, Lady Susan Hussey is William's godmother, for heaven's sake. Why drop her before an investigation? I'll tell you why. It's appeasement. It's literally bending the knee to people who set this up in order to see the royal family and Britain fall. Because they hate them. They hate us. They hate Britain. They hate our culture, history, language. Uh, everything. They hate everything about us. And this is just part of the plan, part of the revenge. And there's more woke shit to come, believe you me. And incidentally, Ngozi Fulani, she has offered her services to the royal family to help fix this so-called problem. So there we go. She creates a problem and then offers to fix it. I wonder how much she'll charge. And it'll be the taxpayer's money who will be paying for it. Mark my words. This whole business is a farce. Lady Susan Hussey did absolutely nothing wrong. She's 83. The question, where are you from, is a universal question spoken by strangers to each other with no malice intended. And you can bet even more money that uh, old Meghan Markle is giggling to herself, reading and watching all this unfold because it, it seems to have vindicated her. And her lies about institutionalised racism in the royal family. This is the woman, of course, who said 17 untruths, 17 lies during that interview she and her assistant Harry made with Oprah Winfrey. And when she said in that trailer, which dropped, by the way, conveniently, literally hours after the news of what happened at the cocktail party between Ngozi Fulani and Lady Susan Hussey happened, she said... Words to the effect of, considering how high the stakes are, wouldn't it make sense to hear our story from us? Well, I wouldn't believe you anyway, Megan, because you're a bloody big liar. But I will be watching because, you know, I could do with a good laugh. And watching uh, liars like that, it's educational. You do educate yourself watching 
liars like that on television uh, how they do it why they do it when they do it so there we go the royal family are institutionally woke change my mind and that's it that's my video hope you like let me know what you think in the comments and until the next time roger trout